Hi there and welcome. This is a, a short review of the Roland A33 MIDI keyboard controller. The MIDI uh, and, and to be more specific is the Roland A33. The keyboard itself has 76 keys which are weight and velocity sensitive. So that means it, it, does ma uh, it matters how hard I press on the keys themselves. Uh, in my case, because there's a controller, they don't make any sounds unless I connect it to any uh, other uh, MIDI capable, capable device, uh, for example a computer or another sound device. Uh, it also uh, controls the standard uh, MIDI channels 0, 1 to 16 and it has an octave shift of going up to or down to. So I, I have standard uh, the standard octave and I can go up or up to or down to. It has a, a band modulation and aftertouch lever and it has a data entry sli uh, slider for controller number 00 and 32, which is basically the general standard variation selection. The Roland A33 is a general standard compatible. And uh, so it means it's general MIDI, like most MIDI devices or, or all MIDI devices. And on top of that, it has it can control the general standard as developed by Roland. Of course, it has a reverb and send reverb send level and chorus and level volume, and any other things which uh, are mentioned which are mentioned in the, in the standard in the manual. Which because this gift got lost over time. Uh, at the here you will see a power switch, a sustain switch jack, uh, uh, expression jack and the standard AC adapter jack. Of course the, MIDI, the standard MIDI, uh, MIDI ports in OUT1 and OUT2 and MIDI3. The power supply is, stand, is a standard 9 volt and uh, you can use either an adapter or batteries. So I had a bit of a play with it, uh, and uh, I will give you an over. And, and let me give first give you an overview of the lights. This is the, sta the layout of the Roland A33 MIDI keyboard controller. The lights indicates which functions are active, and the other buttons can be pressed to make sure that you control an external sound device. An external sound device be the Roland Sound Canvas or in, in my case APC with a virtual sound canvas. Of course it's a keyboard and it has a standard black and white keys which I can press I don't know for how long but it ha has no sound as mentioned before, no speakers and thus no soundboard. I have to connect it to a computer or a soundboard, external sound machine, whatever you can think of. The overview of the lights uh, included, of course, the keys and another way of showing showing you that when I press those keys there is no sound. The, uh, any MIDI controller doesn't provide the sounds, only provides the signal towards an external MIDI device. In my case I have hooked it to the computer via the MIDI in and out. In this case I'm using the MIDI out one. Uh, connected to the USB. My PC doesn't have a game port to, to uh, give me that functionality. And I over ha also have installed Roland Virtual Sound Canvas 3.2. So I have a better quality of MIDI sounds instead of the standard Microsoft uh, MIDI sounds. There, there are other things you can use, uh, like what I also have heard, which is good, is the cool soft virtual MIDI synth. Uh, you, can, you can learn sound from banks on that. But that's a different story. 
Uh, so, like I said, I used Cake, uh, my PC, and I used Cakewalk Pro Audio 9, uh, so you can hear sounds. So, what I will do is show you how that works. As I was saying, I am using Cakewalk Pro Audio version 9. So, I'm going to start that. And standard is the piano. I can change that either way with either the controller itself or on screen in the in the, in Cakewalk. So when I press one of the instrument buttons, it uh, should go like this. That's it. I just pressed with the guitar. Sometimes it happens that when I select a, an instrument on the keyboard, it produces that tone, uh, a single tone, and it lasts for infinity. And that means I have to close down cake well, a cake wall. I've had that same program with other instruments or with other programs as well, so it doesn't matter. So in this case it happens. Doesn't matter which program I use, I don't mind. It's just a bit of a it's it's a glitch, but if you get things for free, who cares? There we are, the organ I wanted to hear. Okay. So let's select an instrument in Cakewalk. So I have oh, there we are. I always select one, or always select the same thing, the same things. So in this case, I will use the piano. This is the standard. This is the C. You know the what's called the center C. Some will say it's this one. But I can go down two octaves, back to normal, and up two oct octaves. It's something you will not really use if you're using a program like that. You can do that anyway. But also I can demonstrate this is very soft and this is very loud. It depends on how hard I press the keys. This sounds pretty normal. This is the only way to press it. And this is really soft, just to make sure it just barely heard. You may have actually heard me pressing the keys. Of course, whatever uh, instrument I use, it doesn't matter. functions may remain the same and as said I'm using Roland Virtual Sound Canvas 3.2. I like it. It's better than the standard Microsoft uh, soft, uh, soft wave table. It has better sounds but it has the standard of course the standard sounds. I can't and the sounds they use are the same as the Sound Canvas uh, 88. There we go, a nice banjo.
So this is how I personally use uh, the keyboard. I use them to, to practice my, my music. You know, I'm learning how to play. And that's really nice. Of course, when I close down the program, I c again I can press the keys and nothing is happening. So as you can see, uh, it is a nice device. It's a good, it's a good device. It's one of the older devices, so it is quite big and heavy. Uh, the keys are full sized, uh, and because there are 76 of them, uh, the and the dimensions are as follows in millimeters: uh, 1195 by 270 by 113, or by 113, depending on how you want to say it. And it is 7.7 .7 kilograms, um, so it's quite heavy. I like the feel of it. Uh, I like having weight and velocity sensitive keys. Uh, I like the fact that it plays like a proper piano. Uh, in instead of having uh, the feel that you are playing with, even though it is plastic, you, that has the feel of plastic. There are some weights in it. I like it. Um, again, uh, the keys are velocity sensitive, which means that the ho the harder or faster you press the key, the louder the the sound gets. You, as you have heard before. And um, without the manual. Uh, you can quickly grasp the basics. It's quite intu in intuitive, uh, but reading the manual uh, and do and, and use the controller by the book is of course recommended. Um, I have to download the manual myself. I have to go, go through it, but I like it already without uh, any concerns or without any. Uh, difficulty. I can use uh, a PC program, a PC and the program to do what I need. And for me, that is have a little, have a little bit of fun, have a play around, and use uh, the uh, the keyboard as a piano to, you know, to pick up where I left left off, say, 20 years ago when I was learning how to play. So I have to relearn everything. And see what, what picks up. It's a good device. Uh, some will say it's worth a hundred pounds. Some will say it's more. It's worth more than that. Some will say it's less than that. Worth less than that. But it's a sturdy machine, a sturdy device. I love it. It's good. So this ends my review, and I hope to see you soon for more. If you have any any comments, please do so. If you have any hints or tips. Uh, always, you know, that's always welcome. I, uh, I, this is my first one, so I have to learn uh, and see what happens from now on.